Hey everyone, today I'm going to be installing this EVGA hybrid cooler for my GPU. Um, I've had one for quite a while now, but I have been uh, too scared to put it together, but uh, that ends today. So uh, let's get started. First, uh, we're going to remove our glass panel from our case. All cases are different but operate relatively the same way. Uh, so we just unscrew the back here and lift it off. Next, all we have to do is remove our PCIe cables, which are the clump of yellow wires here in my hand. Okay, after that, all we have to do is remove the mounting screws on the back of the case, as I'm showing here. Next, we just lift the GPU out of the case. Um, it's pretty easy. Here you can see the back plate and the heat sink. Uh, that's actually what we're removing. Uh, this model of GPU is actually supposed to be really good for cooling, but it still runs a little too hot for my taste. But yeah. Next, we are removing the back plate screws. Uh, and after that, we are actually just going to lift up the back plate itself. It's pretty easy not too complicated here. Here we're going to be separating the card from the heatsink. Uh, to do that we will need to disconnect a total of four connections. We'll disconnect the first three, the colored ones, uh, as a, and then the uh, last one will actually disconnect when we separate the two pieces. Um, be careful with the tabs though, they break uh, pretty easy. One thing I forgot is to remove the backplate screws at the back of the card. Uh, now that it's off, we can separate the pieces. This part took me about two hours because I was really scared to do it. Uh, I felt like I was going to break uh, the card. But after some, after some uh, persistence, uh, I got it separated. Go ahead and just uh, snap off that last connection there, and you'll have a completely separated graphics card. Next, all we're going to do is just unscrew the three screws uh, that hold the mounting bracket onto the card. Super simple. Just take those off and you can pop that back bracket off. For this, uh, we have to clean and we have to clean a lot. All this great gunk, uh, it's called thermal pads, keep the GPU cold in certain areas uh, since we don't need it anymore. Uh, we'll get rid of it with some isopropyl alcohol. I'm using 70% myself, but 90% uh, may make things a little bit easier because it can be a little stubborn. Uh, but since it takes a while and it's important, uh, enjoy some tunes while, while I clean.
now that it's clean we can go ahead and get out our new cooler and uh, set all that up So now we're going to go ahead and remove those blue tabs, um, protection pads, and then add the GPU backplate, uh, the new one on. The next, we're going to have three connections instead of like the four that we disconnected earlier. Uh, we'll only have three now. So make sure you set up your wires here correctly. Though you, you see me digging around a little bit uh, because if you don't, you could run the risk of one of those wires hanging down and hitting your fan as it's spinning and it makes a lot of noise and it's not fun. So just be aware of that. This next part was really stressful for me. Uh, we take the GPU and we connect those three connections while simultaneously lowering the GPU onto the cooler. Uh, hopefully you can do it in one swift motion and not have to redo anything, but sometimes that just doesn't work out. But as long as you're careful, uh, you should be okay. With the stressful part over, uh, we now add our paper washers uh, that were included with the kit, uh, four total, on the big copper circles that you see me placing them on in the video. After we get our washers in place, uh, next we add our screws that were also included with the kit uh, into those four holes. Uh, be very very careful here make sure that you have the right bit for for this for that for that screw otherwise you run the risk of stripping them the, the kit has extras but it's actually extremely difficult to get a stripped screw back out of one of these GPUs uh, it happened to me twice uh, and it was way more stressful than separating the GPU I swear or putting the GPU back on this new cooler so uh, just be aware of that Next, we just add our PCI screws in. Uh, not every hole though, the instructions marks very specific ones that I pointed at. Now 
now we add our GPU backplate uh, back on and just secure it with the backplate screws that came with the kit. And now I'm just making sure all the screws are nice and tight. Uh, now it's ready to be installed back into the computer. Uh, but since this video is about putting the hybrid kit together for the GPU, I will not be showing me reinstalling the GPU back into the computer. Uh, but I did run benchmarks before and after I finished this installation. Uh, the results were, were great. Uh, the test game that I used was Cyberpunk, uh, since it's probably one of the most demanding games out there. Um, really makes your components work really hard. Uh, I'll post the results of the before and after on the screen uh, so you guys can see it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, have a great day.